Well, hi there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Molly Blazer. I'm doing the Spring 2016 programs in attractions at Animal Kingdom, specifically Dino Land USA. I just extended it from fall, so I'm actually like just basically extending my fall program. But since I'm like changing roles and locations, I kind of consider it a whole new program. So I just left quick service, and now I am doing attractions. But I want to talk to you today about this little cool ribbon on the bottom of my name tag. This is the second time I've had this ribbon, and I thought I should probably talk about this now. I meant to talk about it when I was working at the Grand Floridian in my first program, but I just never got around to it because then I was on, I didn't have the ribbon anymore, and I was like, well, shoot, I was supposed to do a video about that, and it never happened. So I figured now that I have my ribbon again, and Dino Land's training is only two days, so I better make this quick, I figured I would do that video. So this is the little earning your ears ribbon that you get when you start training at your new location. Basically, all the ribbon is, is to show that um, you are training. And you will eventually be able to take this ribbon off when you have earned your ears, which means when you have finished your training and you're considered able to work the location and answer all the guest questions. At the Grand Floridian, we didn't have like an official like, woohoo, take your name tag off, you have passed your assessment. We just finished training and we started working our schedule from the hub, we took the name tag off. But I don't know about Dynaline, how that works, I'll let you know in a second part of this video. But for now, I have started my earning my ears and I have my new ribbon. It just sticks on the back of your name tag with a little piece of sticky tape and it's crooked, which is sad, but that's okay. And I'm really excited to have it again. And each location, you get it for a certain period of time for the Grand Floridian. It was about a whole month that I had my earning my ears tag for my friend who worked at Custodial and Art and Pop. She said it was about a week. And then obviously for Diana, he said it's only two days. So each location is going to vary about how long you have this. I have some friends who work at um, Merchandise, or I guess had, she just left. I had a friend who worked at Merchandise in um, Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood Studios. And she only had about a week of training as well. But since there are so many locations in that area that she was trained in, they let them keep the tag on as for as long as they like until they felt completely comfortable and able to answer guest questions. For each location, each role, whatever, it's going to vary about how long you keep it on and when you, how you take it off. Sometimes there's a little assessment at the end where you get a little celebration and you get to like take your ribbon off. Sometimes it's just, yep, you're done with training now, so uh, yeah, you can take it off tomorrow. It kind of depends. But hopefully that answer any questions that you have maybe when you see cast members walking around with this or if you heard about earning your ears, that's what this means. Hey guys, it's Molly. I'm back from day two of my Dinoland, that is Boneyard on the job training. Today we did my assessment. So in the grand we didn't have an actual assessment. We just did all, we just trained all the different roles and we would have, after we trained in the role like two days, we would have a day of being in that role and then we would train another role. And our last day of training was just our last day of training. The next day we were like, you are an official Grand Floridian cast member. You can take off your name tag if you want to do it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But today we had an actual assessment. I had to take an actual test and then I went around to the different positions in the attraction and they tested me on it. It was really chill because the boneyard is really chill. But now I can officially take off my little sticker or ribbon, I suppose is the better term, because it's a ribbon, not a sticker. So here we go. Technical difficulties. They are actually not that easy to rip off, so, um, boom. Yeah. I have earned my ears, and I am now an official cast member at the phone yard. All right, if you guys are coming around Dino Land and Animal Kingdom, please come say hi, I'd love to see you. We'll see you all next time. To anyone who's coming in the spring, good luck earning your ears. To any of my fellow CPs who are extending and are training in their locations, so I don't know how long you have your training period, good luck, and I hope you earn your ears soon. All right, stay magical, guys. See you next time.